sell is I would love for my dog Giannis. That face? To be the face of the NBA. No, not possible for him to be the face oh, of the NBA. You? Yeah, it's not possible, Selden. Why is it not possible? You can't be the face of the NBA if they can't pronounce your last name. Ooh. Let's call the spade a spade, y'all. We finna go places on there? this show. We finna have to go new ones. Is Stephen A showing up? Uh, uh, that sounds a little a different Stephen thing. Is, I'm able to bob and weave because here's what I said. They can't pronounce your last name. Oh. It's not that you are incapable of doing things. Good point, good point. It is that they good point. are incapable of doing it. Let's Whoever talk. the they is, you figure it out for yourself. Uh. Cannot be the face of the league if you cannot be related to. There's so many ways and so many layers, sell that we're going to go here, but why can Giannis not be the face of the NBA? Because the face of the NBA must be relatable. Mm. LeBron James. We know mm. LeBron James' mama, we know his mama's name. We know his wife, we know the kids' names. We know Bronny, we know Bryce, we know Zuri. We know the characters' names Zuri. from the Space Jam. We know all them cats. Kobe, the late, great Kobe mm, Bryant. Respect. We knew Kobe Bryant. We knew his upbringing. We knew why he knew so many different languages. We played at Lower Mary in high school. We knew his high school jersey number. We knew he repped the 3-3. Knew he was from mm. PA. We knew all that. Mm. Magic Johnson, we knew about Magic Johnson, know about Michigan State Magic Johnson, know about the college mm. upbringing, know about the legacy there. Larry Bird, the face in the 80s as well, mm. know about the great Larry Bird. We know how Larry Bird went to college, left college, went back to college. We know about that, know about the upbringing. We've seen the documentaries. Michael Jordan. Stop playing. We know about Mike. We know, we know everything there is to know about Mike. We know yeah. about the tragedies. Well, I need <laughs> We know about all that. We also know about the tragedies that he had to face, that he had yeah. to overcome, the tragedy Thanks. with his Thanks. father. We know Thanks. all of that. But Giannis... We know Giannis' mama name? I do. What's her name? Put Veronica. It Veronica? <laughs> yes. No, I, that's her American No, no. Name. See, that's the problem. Oh, God, no, you can't relate to now, something if you keep I lying. I tried to help you stop. I hate when people say, like, where you from? You say, it's somewhere small. No. I was like, food. No. Just tell me something. Here, no. here is part of the problem. Just Veronica. Which is why Giannis <laughs> can't be the face. What? Because Giannis goes to what I go to. People always ask me. I got asked this at a wedding, I think, two weeks ago. Hey, Acho, where you from? I said, Dallas, Texas. He was Nigerian. He said, no, where are you from? I said, oh, oh. Isu Kwato Abia State. He was like, a hand. I was like, oh, see, I didn't know what you meant. Uh. There's so many hoops and obstacles uh. that we have to jump through yeah. in order to yeah. make Giannis the face. Okay. And I just think, if we're being honest, we're too lazy to jump through him. Let's just call him the Greek freak. Mm. We don't want to learn how to pronounce Antetokounmpo. We mm. definitely don't want to learn how to pronounce Ugo Adetokounmpo. We don't want to do all that. Let's just call him the Greek freak. <laughs> so because I think that we are intrinsically lazy, and we don't necessarily, we don't want to try to have to work extra hard to uh. learn about Giannis and all these other things. Unlike LeBron, we know the kid from Akron, relatable, right? Grew up a uh, single parent household, hooped through college. Mm. We fo followed him through college. Jordan, like I talked about, we know the story. But Giannis, can't relate to Giannis. I can relate to Giannis, mm. Nigerian parents, First generation where he was born. He's first generation Greek. I'm first generation American. I can relate to Giannis, but we, the proverbial sports viewer in the of the National Basketball Association, can't relate to Giannis. And so, <coughs> for that reason, no fault of his own. No fault I don't of his see own. See Giannis being the face. I think it is fault of his uh -oh. own. But um, I'm gonna answer the question first. No, he can't be the face of the NBA, and it's not because of his game. Because okay. if we, we can yeah. go into that conversation. Yeah. And it's going to be pretty simple. Giannis is in the conversation of best player on this planet. He's not the best player on this planet, but if he wins this championship, certainly that bump is going to have him even higher in that conversation. Kevin Durant's the best player on the planet to me right now. The face of the NBA is still LeBron James. He's sitting there with Kevin Durant a little bit, but more Steph Curry, uh, middle America, guy next door kind of feeling. And then there's a baton that's trying to be handed because we see Steph Curry maybe not on the best of team right now. A little, a little long in the tooth. LeBron obviously long in the tooth. Sharing that experience with AD. We could talk about Kevin Durant and a lot of people don't like his personality even though I love it. They say he's a little too tidbitty. He gets into social media, into the weeds too much. And then there's that baton. It's like, who's next? And you would think it would be Giannis. But they're going to be like, no, nah, no, nah, you got the way. Who go? Um, we going to hand this to Luca. We're going to hand this to Trey Young. We'll hand this to Zion Williamson before we'll hand it to you. Because it's not just game. It's name. Mm -hmm. And if I look at this right now, there's a list in terms of followers on Instagram. Now, Instagram is not the best standard of rating. But it can but be. But it's an indicator. It can be. It's an indicator. Well, it can be and it can't be because I know some... Some girls on there that got millions of followers. I'm like, she ain't did nothing. I know her. 
Me? I ain't got nothing. But the point is, it still can be a standard. You know who's number one? LeBron. Mm -hmm. Who's two? Steph. Three, Westbrook. Okay. Four, Kyrie. It's kind of standard issue so far. KD, five. James Harden, six. Chris Paul? Respect to the OG who's not LeBron, who's up that high. Number seven. This is where we got problems. Number eight. It's not Giannis. It's Lonzo Ball, bro. Mm -hmm. Lonzo Ball, not even the most famous dude on his team, if you really want to get into the Q ratings, which I have here. Uh, they did a marketing su summary of the 50 most marketable athletes out there. And six were NBA players. Zion, AD, Luka, Steph, and LeBron. They didn't say Lonzo here. They also didn't say Giannis. Mm -hmm. That's the problem with Giannis in this conversation. His Q rating, his X's and O's are not the problem. It's his Q rating. So... You explain about that. Explain that. I just now learned what Q rating is. Mm. I know I ain't the smartest person mm. in the world, mm. but I'm assuming that other people yeah. may also not yeah. know what a Q rating is. Welcome to affluence, first of all. Thank <laughs> you. I mean, you've already passed me up, so uh, I'm, I'm at an R rating, and you, what's before Q? You better know that for a dr drunk <laughs> driving test. They make you go backwards. Um, here's the thing. Q rating is kind of like a summary of you in terms of marketability, uh, impact on culture, all these things. Like, basically, how can we monetize you? But we use it in different ways, outside, really, of what your craft is. So, Q rating is more of what are you inspired by what you right. do. Eh, that was a lazy way of saying it. Um, here's the way that I look at Giannis, and I'm going to go back at some of your points. Um, don't be lazy. Don't use the lazy excuse also that since we don't know how to say his name, that we're not going to give him his proper due. I still mess up Luka Doncic because I used to say Doncic. Mm -hmm. People, Doncic. I don't give a damn. You know what I'm talking about? It's Luca. then. The point is, we'll make it where it's easy to say, Greek freak. Like, we ain't got to go through mm -hmm. all that. I still don't know I say Giannis' last name. You notice I never <laughs> say it, and I never will. But even me, I'm from America. Marcellus Vernon Wiley right here, L.A. People come up to me all the time. At a wedding, where you from, Marcellus? L.A.? Nah, where you from? Oh, I didn't know. Uh, in my grandma's house, Palmer Block, Compton Crip. From mm -hmm. my, my, my house, over here, over here, neighborhood mm -hmm. 60s. Like, we got... Giannis ain't the only one dealing with layers of where you from. I'm different than Giannis. But still, if people want to relate to you, they would take the time. They would take the travel. They would take the journey. But he ain't worked it because of his Q rate. I, I think... And they, I don't gangbang, y'all. I was just letting y'all know where <laughs> my family's from. <laughs> Let, me with Let me start with this. Let me start with this. Let me start with this. Z-Y-X-W-V-U-T-S-R-Q-P-O-N-M-L-K-J-I-H-T-F-E-D-C-B-A. Let me start there. But you don't drink. I don't. I just have to So you're wasting that <laughs> effort right there. Give it to me. <laughs> I'll put that backwards. Friday I'm going to give that to you another day. Damn, that's um, dope. Now with that being said. What? I don't think Luca could be the face either. Stop it. And it comes down to this, Sal. The first reason you have to be a face is relatability. Tim Duncan was probably the best player in the league at least, what, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005? Nah, he had Shaq. MVP. Shaq. MVP. Couple times. And he, he had shares. It, it, You can't. Let me interrupt you just there. Go ahead. Go because ahead. there's so many things that overlap. Like right now, Who's the best player on the planet? Probably KD. Mm -hmm. But who's the face? Probably LeBron. LeBron. So therefore, they start to rob from each other. In 2002, Shaq was still Shaq. He was. Now, Tim, Tim Duncan was Mr. Fundamental Killing, yep. but they're robbing from each other. When this conversation, who can Giannis rob to become the face of the NBA? It has to be LeBron. And he ain't doing that. LeBron is, but is he not bounds in front of is, him. Is he not in the sense of this? Where's his space? Realistically yet? <laughs> speaking, if Giannis was American, we followed his game through high school, uh, followed his game through college, uh, Giannis would for sure take the baton. Two MVPs before 26, about to be a finals champ, maybe if he closes out tonight, and a finals MVP before 26. Yeah. Incredible story from selling CDs as a youth to now dominating All the NBA. If, 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 what is keeping Giannis from, it's not that Giannis isn't likable in the media. Gives us great sound bites. I've airballed free throws. Mm. I've missed shots. Uh, I'm not scared of anything. Just gave us one of the greatest sound bites in recent NBA memory and a sound bite that we appreciated for. Not a Kawhi sound bite where we kind of made fun of him, a sound bite where we were all collectively like, wow, Giannis, like that was incredibly intellectual. The only thing stopping Giannis from being the face is the fact that. He's not American. Mm. Like, if you, you, we got to call a spade a spade. I don't think That's that not it. Luca would be the face either because I don't. I think it comes down to how much have we known you and followed you for forever. That's why Lonzo got all them followers. Let me give it to you. Lonzo got all them followers because we knew him in high school and we watched his game in high school and then we watched his game in the league and then he had his own shoe. Mm. It was his own brand I got of those. shoe. Yeah. Um, so when, when I look at it, Giannis, the first check to become the face is 
Are you relatable? relatable. Okay. Here's and Giannis has a big, eh, you're not relatable because, eh, you're not from here. Well, no, he's not relatable because he doesn't sell himself. Help us help, help you. Uh, but that's it. That's no. everything to me. So how can, how can I help you yeah. help me yeah. if I'm searching yeah. for the words to say tinkled? Yeah. It was cute yeah. when my dog couldn't, didn't know how to find the word. But I can't help you help me yeah. if I need you to help me yeah. speak to you. Okay. Yes, you can, actually. Talk uh, to first me. of all, when I used to train my dog, Moo Moo, rest in peace, um, I didn't say tinkle. I said pee-pee boo-boo. And it worked. And people liked it. And it got me a lot of friends. A lot of ladies. Um, here's the thing. You got to know how to talk it if you're going to walk it. Talk here's to the me. thing. You keep thinking relatability really starts an origin that we all from the same place. No, because right now in the heavyweight division of boxing, I bring this as an example, not a track example for once. Um, there was a guy by the name of Anthony Joshua, who's mm -hmm. not American born, right? Now, you look at him, you like, oh, where are you from? And he's like, oh, you from, oh, you're a British boxer. Wow. He's also I don't Nigerian. Know. Huh? He's also Nigerian. Got to claim him. He's Nigerian too? Mm -hmm. Okay, even better. To my him. point. And it is still, we clamored to him. He became the biggest thing in boxing. But not the face. But not the face, because he lost. <laughs> but, oh, he was the face. Trust me. He was in position before the loss to Tyson Fury, who? Uh, he wasn't uh, taking over Floyd, though. You know Hold oh, no, on, I'm not talking about that. Now, okay, Floyd, okay, a whole okay. different animal. Okay. Floyd, the machine, and Floyd retired. So we talking about, like, who's the face of boxing? It was poised to be him. He was in that position. Now, his game took him out of that position. He's trying to climb back up that mountain. My point is, we'll go out there and find. Right now, you can say it's Canelo. Well, you got a little advantage being a Mexican boxer. But the point is, you don't have to be American-born for us to respect you in any sport. Wait a second. Well, let, me, let me bring you to go this. Ahead, go ahead, bring me to me. Let's talk about game when we talk about Giannis. If you are two-time MVP and defensive player of the year, and you still got this much room to make up, Guess what? A championship ain't going to close that gap, big dog. It's going to allow you to move up a peg or two, but move up against who? Lonzo? <laughs> Chris Paul? Yeah. AD? Lucas? Steph? LeBron? Zion? Look at these names. He's right there with Paul George mm -hmm. in terms of followers. Here's a problem. Paul George is not even the biggest thing on his team. Here's another problem. Paul George is third fourth most popular in this city alone, let alone the face of the NBA. He just has too many hurdles in front of him. A lot of them self-imposed. People don't want to hear substance. That's part of my issue. <laughs> I like to talk from substance. Forget <laughs> sizzle. And I understand I got a sizzle part of me. I keep it to myself. And when you hang out with me, you'll see the sizzle part. But for the world to see and consume and for my kids to digest, I ain't got no sizzle for you. I'm not got, I don't have a hot take. And that's Giannis' problem. He gets to the mic and actually talks in substance. And people are like, yeah, 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 we want to hear a little bit more. Step in it a little bit more. Sell yourself a little bit more. But when you're that close to the vest, you're not selling yourself. Okay, there are layers here. But there are layers. let me start here. In a sport that is not a, an American sport, you don't have to be American to be the face. Okay. Usain Bolt was a face of track and field. Okay. Track and field is a global sport. Boxing, global we sport. Show UFC, it, global we sport. Show we claim We claim though. it. But well, realistically speaking... Well, then, basketball's not. It's a Canadian sport. You want to go there? No, I want to go to the... Where do you want to go? The National Basketball Association, we claim we're world champions. But we're really just talking about the 32 teams in the NBA, yeah. which are predominantly American state teams. Champs. And <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the state champs. Um, a nation United champs, states. if you United will. state champs. Yeah. Nation champs. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but boxing, I do think you can have a okay. non-American face, like yeah. track and field. Yeah, I give you that. For me, For though, sell sure. it... A lot of it does boil down to, we had a conversation yesterday on air. We can pull it back if we want. Mm. You, you were said it jokingly in jest, but you were like, America's going to win the Olympics in basketball. No, I'm serious. <laughs> and you're like, back, because back. our backups are better than their starters. Yep, most teams. Yep. Because we do feel like we're better than everybody else at everything else. Americans, it's just the case. Some stats to prove that we're better than a lot of things. Some is just we confident, we cocky, say what you will. Yeah, fake it till we make it. Why would you, not you, the proverbial you, okay. want to make the face somebody who's not American? If we intrinsically Americans believe that we're better than other people, why yeah. would we want to claim somebody who we are intrinsically believe we're better than is the face? Oh, there's a, there's a dichotomy there, there Sal. There because is. If the Greek basketball team that can't be as good as us because they Greek, so those Greek, the Giannis and then those people can't be as good as us because oh, they're not American, then... How, why, not even how, why would we dare make him the face? There, there's never been a non-American born face of the NBA. 
Well, it hasn't. Not Magic, not Bird, not Jordan, not Kobe, not Shaq, not LeBron. That's just kind of going through the large-scale faces. It's not that there hasn't been an Akeem Elijah one. And mind you, Akeem played college ball at the University of Houston, so at least we knew him in college. It's not that there hasn't been a Dirk and Whiskey. It's not that there hasn't been a Steve Nash. It's not that there now hasn't Canadian. been a Giannis. Give him love. The facts. The <laughs> fact of the matter is, for whatever reason, the non-American-born players mm. never ascend to becoming the face. And it's not for lack of game. There's got to be another reason. Okay, and I, I just don't think that that reason is what you're saying. But I, I will give you that. There's no history to support what I'm going to say. That's in part not because of what I'm about to say. It's because, hey, non-American players, have you been number one? First of all, look at the errors you just gave me. Let's mm -hmm. go back to the 80s. Yes, sir. Magic and Bird ate up the 80s. 90s, Jordan eats up the 90s. 2000s, it's like Shaq and Kobe, Duncan, maybe, wherever you want to go. Point, Iverson. Dog, it's like, it's not a conversation of we don't want you there. It's just, it's like the pyramid of success. The, the most room is at the bottom. There's very little room to even be at the top. But with they these were players. at the top, though. But they were, and they're also a Nash, player. Nash, Nowitzki, back to back to back. Three, four, three non American born MVPs year uh, after year after year. Yeah. How come no love? Giannis, Giannis, why the no Joker. Love? Because there's questions of should they even been the MVP in some but of those. Why? And I'll tell you why. Come, why? Because Steve Nash wasn't the best player. Ask Kobe that year. Okay, I'm not going to do this because that's a whole different conversation. I want to do this. Now, I love that conversation. I'm not trying to avoid it. It's just, it's not because they're Canadian. It's not because you're not from here. It's just because somebody from here, we just got bored of giving them the trophy a little bit. Let's say this. Here's your conversation I think you're trying to have. You're trying to have an American power conversation. Like, Americans don't really want to export the power and give it to someone else because then that will make us look bad or lesser than. Now, you know this. Maybe not thought of this. When it comes to real power... People think power is when you can control yours. That's pretty much for most people a goal, ambition. But the truest, the biggest power is in delegation. The biggest power is when you can control others. When you ain't, I don't even know you, dog, and you're going to do what I want you to do because I got the power. Now, in your circle of influence, to control that, that's great. That's a high degree of power. But there's a degree greater than that. Control of people that you don't even have anything in connection with. So I think America's cockiness that we're having a lot of conversations about will be fully flexed if we control others. If we say, hey, yeah, you could be the face of the NBA. You're still working for us. Globally, spreading the message, spreading the game. Here's why I say the best for last, I hope. Here's why Giannis can't be the face of the NBA. Because America does not respect the slow burn. We respect a who that. Mm -hmm. Think about a who that versus a slow burn. I'm a late bloomer. So it took me a long time to get my proper due. A lot of late bloomers. I talked to Tony Romo about this before, and he, I saw him witness this. He was a late bloomer in terms of his NFL prowess. Let's look at these guys on this list. It's, tell me if he's a late bloomer or not. Zion. Nope. He who that from hell mm -hmm. Who that? Who that big old microwave refrigerator out there bouncing? Uh, Luca. As soon as we caught our eyes on him, who that? Oh, he's been pro since 14? Damn it. Steph, now that's a slow burn. That's why he gets robbed. Ah, you're making my point. LeBron, who that, right? <sighs> Westbrook, slow burn. Slow burn. Back up at yeah, UCLA. Back, yeah. no, you're making my point. Wait, college makes him a slow burn? Oh, yeah, because soon we catch notice. That's why Lonzo was like, who that? Because his daddy, his shoe, one year, bang. Now we're like, where are he at? Where, <laughs> what is he doing? He's not living up to it. This is how difficult the terrain is to become in the face of the NBA. Now, Kobe, who that? Mm -hmm. 16, 17 years old, you hear about it. The guy, everybody you name, Shaq, everybody who we really name without another name has always been a who that guy. All these slow burners, they struggle. Even Steph Curry, who's the greatest of all slow burners. That's good.